Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we are going over Hegela Karras Mansion. The Hegela Karras Mansion, located at 1307 7th Street in El La Salle, Illinois, is one of Midwest's great Second Empire structures. Completed in 1876 for Edward C. Hegeler, a partner in the nearby Matheson Hegeler Zinc Company. The mansion was designed in 1874 by noted Chicago architect William W. Boyington. The mansion is now owned and operated by the Hegeler Karras Foundation and is open to the public. It was designated a National Historic Landmark in 2007. History Boyington, the architect who designed the mansion, is noted for the Chicago Water Tower, the Joliet State Penitentiary, and for completing the Illinois State Capitol. The interior was done by August Fidela, who designed the unique parquet floor and hand-painted ceiling for each public room. The mansion, which has seven levels, has 57 rooms with a total of 16,000 square feet of interior space. The Hegeler Karras Mansion was initially home to Hegeler, his wife, Kamala Hegeler, and their large family. In 1887, Hegeler launched the Open Court Publishing Company to provide a forum for the discussion of philosophy, science, and religion, and hired the German scholar Dr. Paul Karras to serve as managing editor. The company was located on the first level of the house. In 1888, Karras married Hegeler's daughter, Mary Hegeler, who had worked alongside her father as a young girl and was the first woman to graduate from the University of Michigan with a bachelor's degree in engineering in 1882. The couple had seven children, six living to adulthood, and raised them in the mansion. The mansion where Karras wrote over 70 books, countless articles, and served as editor of two scholarly publications, The Open Court and The Monist. Karras invited editorial contributions from the likes of Charles Sanders Pierce, William James, Leo Tolsoy, F. Max Miller, Gottlob Fridge, and Bertrand Russell. Karras hosted a historical meeting of East and West immediately after the 1893 Chicago Columbian Exposition bringing together eminent oriental religious scholars. This led to Open Court's publishing program emphasizing classics of Eastern religious thought. Zen scholar D.T. Suzuki spent 11 years at La Salle working with Karras on this program. Mary Hegeler Karras took over running the Matheson Hegeler Zinc Company from her father and also ran part of the open court, eventually taking over as editor with Karras's death. Paul Karras died in 1919 and Mary lived in the house until her death in 1936. The house was occupied mainly by their children. In 2001, its sole resident was 99-year-old Alwyn Karras, one of six children of Paul and Mary, who died in 2004. Recent Developments In 1995, the Hegeler Karras Foundation was created. That year, the mansion was put on National Register of Historic Places. In recent year, members of the Karras family and others have done much restoration of the mansion. On March the 29th of 2007, the Hegeler Karras Mansion was designated a National Historic Landmark. In 2008, the foundation launched a project to reassemble the mansion's gymnasium and its apparatus, considered to be a unique surviving example of the late 19th century Turnverian style physical culture facility. The foundation also owns the Julius W. Hegeler House, located directly across the street, which is undergoing restoration. The celebration of the 2018 Illinois Bicentennial Hegeler Karras Mansion was selected as one of the Illinois' 200 great places by the American Institute of Architects Illinois Component. Current Uses The mansion hosts numerous public programs and is open for public tours. It is particularly notable for its high Victorian stencils and wall and ceiling paintings, its woodwork and its history. Thank you for watching this. If you like the videos, 
please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell and YouTube will let you know as soon as the next video is released. Stay safe and stay strong.